You're welcome back to The Breakfast on PLUS TV Africa. Uh, Cross River State Governor Ben Ayade is now a member of the All Progressives Congress. He formally decamped from the People's Democratic Party yesterday, Thursday, and according to him, Cross River State needs to be in sync with the party at the center. Governor Ayade also says President Muhammad Buhari has shown commitment to Nigeria through his nationalistic disposition. The Governor's Press Secretary, Christian Ita, is joining us from Calabar. Good morning, Mr. Ita. Good morning. All right. So Ayade's move came really as a shock to many people, you know, seeing that he was elected, you know, on the platform of the PDP, he's been a governor of the state, you know, on the platform of that party, and he's moving now to the APC. Um, let us know the motivations for that move, especially since Ayade in his own statement said it wasn't necessarily about party, but about personality. Yes, he believes that at this, um, at our level of national development, that unnecessary political rivalry is unhealthy for the polity. Uh, he did give an example when he happened to be in China, when the election was going on. Uh, you wouldn't even know a, a, a local council election was going on, talk less of a national election. So he believes that we should be emphasized opposition and, and band together with a view to challenge, um, addressing the myriad problems uh, confronting the country. So basically, he teamed up with the APC with a view to um, helping the nation address some of the challenges they currently face. Okay, when you say um, unnecessary rivalry is on, um, uh, political rivalry um, is unhealthy, um, you know, doesn't that mean that he could as well be in the PDP and still work hand in hand with the uh, president? Well, like he said yesterday, being in opposition, <coughs> sorry, please, <coughs> you're operating from the periphery, and the chances of your views being taken seriously are very limited because everything that comes from you will be seen from a, a partisan prism. So he needed to be with them so that they understand that whatever he offers, he's doing so altruistically, not because he wants to gain any political advantage. Okay, um, Mr. Ita, how do you respond to people who say that Ayade, you know, in addition to the many other politicians who move from APC to PDP, are simply practicing political prostitution? Well, I, I don't know what you mean by political constitution because I don't know um, how many prominent politicians in this country today that have not cross-capital. Even the president was at, the, at some time in CPC. And you know that freedom of association is guaranteed in the constitution. So there's nothing like political constitution. No. So, Mr. Ita... Mm -hmm. So, could, could you give me fundamental and ideological differences between the PDP and the APC? There isn't much, which is why he downplayed uh, party. Party is just a vehicle. Did you, you say there isn't both. much? There isn't much difference between APC and PDP? There isn't much. But the emphasis was on the character of the president. He emphasized that yesterday. That the character of the president is what uh, drew him to the APC. Oh, okay. okay. So, right. so, Mr. Ita, could you expand shade more on, on the character of the president? What exactly about the president's character must have drawn mm -hmm. Ayade to move from the PDP to the APC? He highlighted his commitment to, to the nation. He highlighted his uh, uh, uprightness. He highlighted his commitment to battling uh, ills such as corruption and many more. So those were the things he highlighted. That while it might appear that he's not achieving much, but the tensions are very noble. So that is, those are the things that drew him to the APC, okay. not so much as the party. Okay, well, um, you know, um, quickly also share with us, you know, why you, you think it took this long, you know, uh, before deciding to make this decision. All right, I think uh, we still have to reconnect with him.
Um, would uh, just also quickly introduce our guests in the studio, um, Zakaria de Ladein Day, senior news editor. Good, good morning. morning. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, good morning. Good to be here. So it's um, mixed, you know, reactions to Governor Ben Ayade's um, defection. Um, uh, First Eskayamo, of course, has praised him as one of the most brilliant governors, you know, in, in Nigeria. And Very so cerebral. Those, yeah, exactly. <laughs> some of all those words. Um, but, you know, what have you seen as the biggest, um, um, you know, points being made here? Yeah, this is long expected for those people who have been following politics in Nigeria. And it became, you know, it reached its crescendo this time around when you know that uh, the party structure has been completely taken away from you. You know, as a governor, as a sitting governor, if you lose the party structure, you're as good as, pardon my language now, you're dead politically. So what is left for you? You need to have a saving phase. You need to find an alternative and that is APC. Before now, we've seen that kind of romance between him and the president. Uh, you remember that one of the first projects the president did when he came in, it has to do with uh, Cross River State. And people were like, oh, this president looks like uh, he's not going to be partisan, he's not going to be about the party that he belongs to. So the, the romance has been there, but what is obvious is the fact that when you are no longer in charge of the party structure, you are left with nothing but to try the other option. What do I mean by that? His godfather, his S.Y. godfather, that's the former governor, Lee Alimoke, yeah, yes. uh, has taken over the old party structure from the world to the local government to the state level. So what do you expect him to do? So it, it is not really about the people. Forget those rhetorics. Forget those statements we see in his press release when he said that uh, it's because of the style of Mr. President. And you're wondering who is even who is wooing him, who is toasting him to come to APC. So let nobody be deceived. It's about the fact that he has lost grip of the party structure okay. in APC. Um, Hence, he goes to other let's, parties. Let's bring back uh, Christian Ita. Uh, welcome once again. All right. Um, so you were about speaking on, you know, those who refer to uh, Ben Ayade as being a, um, a double agent, you know, yeah. in the PDP on this while. But but also, I want you to add uh, uh, Mr. Kyle Delade in these thoughts that he very likely has lost the party architecture and the and the grip on the party in the state to former Governor Lee Elimoke, and that's one of the reasons why he might be. Moving. You know, you know it's funny that we sit down to speculate on things we have very little or no information about. Number one, the, this governor, the moment he came into office in 2015, he said the moment you are elected into public office, you must draw a line between partisanship and governance. And that is the bane of Africa. Because you believe that when you are in party A, if you have no business to do with a party B, who is the heart is in power at the center, it's wrong. And this is why we say unhealthy political rivalry is unhelpful for the country. So what is wrong in an APC PDP governor having an between I Ayade and the president? I'm coming to whether he lost grip of uh, the party structure in the state. It's completely around Baghdadash. If you are aware, there has been a battle over the southern, uh, the northern territorial district election. As I speak to you today, is a candidate that support was supported by the governor, by the senator, senator in the National Assembly. So he lost grip of nothing. Okay. Who is that, like he said yesterday, he never had issues with the PDP. Even when the issues came up, when the contentions came up, the national election of the party was always with him. So it's not a question of losing political grip. It's a question of realigning the interests, his interests, and the intricate interests of the country. Okay, That's well. it. Is he making... I'm, I'm having a hold back. I don't know. Well, uh, apologies for that. Uh, is he making this move, or is it likely he's making this move, you know, along with, you know, others in the state, or is he uh, moving alone? Are there uh, former PDP, are they likely to be his followers joining him on this move? 
from the yes. state architecture? Even just yesterday, a member of the House of Representatives crossed over to the APC. As we speak, there are about five other members of the National Assembly who will soon declare for the APC. And when he had that meeting with the six APC governors, he wasn't, the decision wasn't just he. The Speaker of the State House of Assembly and the members of the House of Assembly were in attendance. The entire state executive platform was in attendance. All the local government chairmen in the state were in attendance. All the councillors People, all that critical stakeholders like uh, Florence Chikaniwa were in attendance. So it was not a unilateral decision. And these things will begin to manifest in a few days from now. All right, um, Mr. Ladendi, I'm going to go back to you uh, to quickly also respond. You know, he, he says he, he doesn't in any way agree with your um, narrative. Um, and of course, uh, this are, is all done in good faith. And he has, uh, Ben Ayade has the support of the whole political architecture okay. of the state. Okay, uh, definitely what is, um, it is expected. That's the spokesperson of the governor and the government. And we need to understand that they need to explain the narrative to us. But... Just little time. This one is not a matter of uh, time in terms of one year or two years that will explain it. Just a little time. Let's find out how many members of the House of Reps are going to defect with him. This is traditionally a PDP state. That's what political uh, observers would call a suicide. You know, for you to leave a state that has been prominent, I mean, to be dominated by PDP since 1999, just moved to APC. Check what is going on on the social media. A lot of people are saying that, wow, why, why? But for those of us who understand, we know that it is about the structure as being Check the result of the last Congress that was done in PDP. Maybe Mr. Christian Ita can tell us more about the power play that happened. So it is a matter of he has taken the right decision in his political interest. Please hold on, Mr. Ita. You will come in. You will come in, sir. So I'm just saying that while he would do all his best to convince us that it is about the interest, but every political observer who every political observer who is monitoring the situation knows about the fact that the party structure has been taken over by his key rival and okay. that's the Lee Alimoke. all right so mr ita i want you to respond to mr kadela and also to to respond to you know people who say you know cross river state can never be an apc state um first of all uh, let me speak directly to the issue of um, losing party structures. I don't know which one is more valuable to a politician. Controlling local government, controlling all the councillors, controlling the entire House of Assembly, or having one executive. That's one point. Two, this is not the first time Cross River is faced with this kind of issue. I was lucky enough to have been the chief years to Governor Imoke in the last three years of his administration. And I do remember that this same thing. Hello? Yes, go ahead. This thing played out in 2014. When some members of the National Assembly, led by former Senate leader, Victor Ndomaiba, took control of the same world the same word Congress is, that today is being seen as uh, being controlled by Moki. What happened at the end of the day? Victor Nobel on the back to the National Assembly. All everybody that was on that side of the party never made it to the National Assembly. Now, the word Congress you're referencing was in place when the primaries for the Northern Territorial Election uh, primaries was, uh, sorry, took place. What happened? The governor's candidacy won. So it's not about political structure. It's not. And the point that um, uh, uh, Cross River can never be anything but PDP is untrue. 
If you go back in history, just 1999, cross uh, AP, AP, APP had more local government than the PDP in Cross River. APP had more members in the State House of Assembly than PDP. What, what year are you referring to now? I'm referring you to when Donadip was a governor. Well, I don't know if APC in uh, <laughs> So I'm giving you the history. Well, there, there was no APC in 1999, that, uh, 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 Christianita. Eh? Um, but also, you know, go on and, and also add, you know, to this, you know, what's the relationship between Governor Ben Ayade and uh, former Governor Lee Elimoke? They speak. They are on speaking terms. They are friends. In fact, if you check, in, uh, the governor emphasizes yesterday. He has no issues with anybody in PDP or PDP itself. And if you check the response of the PDP to the development, they were very understanding. What did they say? Governor Yade, we wish you well in your future endeavor. Is that a typical PDP press release? So let's not impute things that do not exist. So really, um, we know that the APC too has, you know, talked about this, responded to the defection, talking about how the PDP is a sinking ship, you know, asking other people to join, you know, the, the, the All Progressives Congress. But really, we have to really talk about the likelihood of, you know, Ayade bringing in people you know, from Cross River State into um, the All Progressives Congress. People see the likelihood as very, very slim, you know, seeing the stronghold that the PDP has on the state. It's not slim at all. I like I how the whole thing will unravel. Quite a number of persons are excited by this development and they are going to declare. Like I just told you just yesterday, when this development occurred, a member of the National Assembly has resigned from the PDP and gone to the APC. So you just wait and see the number of National Assembly members that will leave in the next one week. I'm not saying one month. Okay, I, hope can, I, hope, uh, I hope we can invite you sometime next week, um, you know, to Why follow not? up on this discussion. Why not? Okay, right, so how, how about you, Mr. Kaiden? I, I just, I just want to quickly to uh, explain to my friend, he's actually my friend, to just uh, get it clearly. Um, what Professor Ayade has done politically is not wrong. If you, I continue to insist, if you have lost the party structure in PDP, what is the relevance of an executive governor still being in that party? So for me, PDP pushed him away. So he is not wrong to have taken such a decision. But just to put it on record, that um, he will have to do more to deliver that stage. You remember what happened to Apabio when he said this is an uncommon defection. And you know that till today, he's still finding it hard to bring that stage under the grip of APC. This is not something, it is known to everybody that South-South region is a PDP region. However, we know there are heavyweights in the political terrain. Remember what happened in Bayelsa governorship election the last time? Just because of the inf infighting between the former president, Good Goodluck Jonathan, and that of the former governor then, uh, talking about uh, Seraki Dixon, the state was practically lost to APC because of some heavyweight. So for me, that's the challenge Ben Ayade has now. Is he a powerful defection that can move you know, votes, irrespective of how strong PDP has been and the South South. So, and I think that's what is before uh, Professor Ben Ayade and Mr. Krista Inita to prove to the people that this is not about this state being dominated by PDP. It's, it's about, about the personality yeah. that has done this. Personally, I don't see that happen. But trust me, Mr. Krista Inita. He's not going to agree with me on this, but time will, time tell. will tell. And like you said, from one week time, we will see it. As a political observer, I want to see that happen too. Okay. Right. Looking forward to what the uh, next one or two weeks brings. Uh, Christian Ita, uh, thanks for um, accepting that we will be re-inviting you to speak on this again. Thank uh, you. And thanks for your time this morning. All right. I think we may have lost him there. Thank you very much uh, so far. And thank you, Mr. Thank you, Mr. Lade. Lade. It's a pleasure. Stay with us. Uh, we're going to be talking about the reported death or uh, seriously injured uh, Abubakar Shekau after the short break. Stay with us.